Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. For over a decade now, the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement has been leading the campaign against Israel's policies of apartheid and brutality against the people of Palestine. The BDS movement has specifically focused on institutions, both, culture, both commercial and non-commercial, which have ties with Israel and pressurize them to cut those ties. There has been a special focus on organization, which, organizations which maintain links with Israel's military as well as the illegal settlements in the West Bank. Today, we are joined by Imen Habib of the BDS Movement of France. Hello, Imen. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Imen, could you first talk a bit about the BDS Movement in France itself? Because in every country, there are some specific characteristics the movement has and specific strategies the movement follows. So how do you see the movement in France and what are its key methodologies of organizing? So the movement in France, the BDS campaign, have been launched in 2009 after the Catholic uh, massacre in Gaza, we think it was important to start a real BDS and coordinated BDS campaign in France. So we have different uh, targets um, and we are, of course, in coordination with the Palestinian um, campaign, BDS campaign. And we have several targets uh, since uh, several uh, years. And uh, this year, uh, we have uh, um, of course, different um, targets like AXA, which is uh, main of the, uh, the main insurance French company. Right. And they are involved on LBT system, which is the biggest arm, indu arm industry. And they have uh, also investment on uh, five Israeli banks. And we are uh, asking them to respect international law. So we have the AXA campaign and we have also uh, a campaign, a cultural campaign, because uh, Israel recognized to use culture to whitewash apartheid. Right. And so it's a very important campaign for us because Israel uh, is uh, very sensitive to the image. Mm -hmm. And we think it's important to, to say, no, you cannot go to Israel to produce yourself and to uh, like uh, a normal situation, it's right. it's a normal a normal situation. So we try to explain this uh, by letter, by uh, contact with arti French artists, and we had last year the French Israel season, mm -hmm. uh, which is cultural French Israel season. It was a season of propaganda okay. between the French government and the uh, Israeli government, and we have uh, and it was. Um, um, a failure for, for Israel propaganda because uh, it was not a success in terms of uh, people who was not interested and we in, in a lot of city we disrupted events mm -hmm. because we refused the normalization with Israel apartheid. So it's a kind of way that we, we do in France to, to denounce this, uh, right. this apartheid. And what, have been, what has been the response generally as far as the campaign uh, goes in France, as in how have the people responded to the campaign? So the citizens are very sensitive when we protest and we are, when we organize, when we explain why we are boycotting Israeli apartheid. The most of the people understand the situation and understand why we, we are campaigning on the boycott today. Um, on the artists, it depends. There is some people, we have some artists in France said they want to dialogue. But we, we, are, we are saying to them, um, when you go to Israel to play in Israel, you are not dialing, right. you are whitewashing exactly. apartheid. And so some, some artists respond that, some other artists doesn't understand. And you have also artists who are sensitive who don't think about that before, but when you explain them the, the situation, they are ready to, to heard uh, your, about the campaign. So we have a, a lot of work to, uh, work to do, and it's very useful to do this work. Okay, and what about the state? Has there been any active attempts by the state to prevent any of these campaigns? Uh, in France, we uh, since two thousand nine and ten, we have been confronting, confronted to the repression. Mm -hmm. To the, um, they try to forbid the BDS campaign. They have, uh, they try to um, instrumentalize uh, the the law to attack us. So they said BDS, and they still say BDS. It's illegal. Right. 
but it's not true. We, we always explain that because a lot of people, when they think that the BDS campaign is, um, is not legal in, in, in France, and it's not true, and uh, they, they, we are, um, so they are targeting, um, the, the French government is targeting the BDS campaign yeah, but we are still here and we are still doing the, the campaign and we are determined to, to fight because it's an attack also more globally than BDS, but on the, on the freedom of speech, right. on, the, on all the social movement. It's not only BDS it's, uh, and it's important to be here and to defend the freedom of speech. The solidarity is Palestinian, but also our uh, main uh, freedom of speech. Right. Also, could you talk about some of the campaigns like, for instance, against HSBC and Veolia for that matter, or even the Eurovision campaign for that matter, which has got quite a bit of international prominence? Yeah, there was a successful uh, HSBC campaign in, in Great Britain. Right. And we try to inspire, we will try to inspire ourselves from this campaign because for the AXA campaign, it's very similar. Right. It's uh, also a bank. Uh, and, um, and uh, it was successful because the SSB, SSBC mm -hmm. declared that they will um, uh, remove their investment on LB system, right. which is a criminal company. And it's a, a great news. So it's a, it's a news from 2019. So it's, a, it's very recent and, uh, and uh, it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, and we, are, we, we, will do the, we hope to, do the, to have the same results for the AXA campaign. Right. Yeah. Thank you. That's all we have time for today. Keep watching People's Dispatch.